Hello guys, um, I'm Nevermind, and today we are going to learn how to play the violin. And I believe as a person that has been studying the violin for what, three months, I am very qualified to play for you because I just reached level three in like, and there's like a bunch of levels, but I'm, I'm really proud. So I'm going to make a YouTube video. Yep. So this is the violin. You can hug it, hold it, first buy it or rent it, whatever, whatever you're going for. And you just get to know it. This is the nut. This is the peg box. These are the pegs. Um, this is the neck. These are the shoulders. This is the upper half and this is the bottom half. This whole thing is the body. This is the F pole. Great. This is called the bridge and these are called the fine tuners. And this thing is called the tail. This is called the uh, chin rest. And this thing, I don't really know its actual name, but I'm just gonna call it the shoulder rest. So yeah, now you know about your violin, you've got into it, you're like, hello, don't do that. So. You say, well, I'm gonna play it, but you can't just be like, da -da 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 -da. you have to um, have a certain way of playing. So, you probably saw, you see people play it all the time, and you know that the violent goes on your left shoulder, which is true, and you put it, uh, your chin goes on the chin rest, so you're looking at your violin, and like you hold it so that, like, you don't need your hand to hold it, you know? It's very stable without even your hands. Now, to hold it, you need to have a little space. And what my tutor recommended, my teacher recommended was that I put a pen here the first times I play, which is very true. I did that and I'm getting better. So you put like this and then you hold it with your thumb. And it has to be this way, exactly. So that it's easier for you to reach those notes and whatever. And there always has to be a certain amount of um, like space. So, you got that covered? Good, next step. The, oh, sorry, that was the book. There's a book. Um, this is the bow. And there's a specific way of holding this. And it's really important because then you'll just ruin really hard songs if you don't hold it properly. So stupid, honestly. So, the bow is like this. This is uh, made out of horse hair. Yes, I know. Poor horses. And um, this is called the bow. This is called the frog. This is called the tail, the hair, and um, yeah, pretty much it. This is to tighten it. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you're 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 trying to get it as tight as your index finger. So not not tighter than your index finger, and not looser than your index finger. So yeah, about right. So you got that. Now turn a knob, just do it. When you turn a knob, you know how your thumb goes in a right angle, perpendicular way? Okay, keep that. Put it right beside the frog, between uh, the stick thingy and the hair. Got it? Good. Now put your finger and put it right here. Now. You put your index and your ring finger here and keep it so that like this is per parallel to these two. So, and then you just nicely rest your finger, your pinky finger on it. So, so like if I were to leave it loose, it'll work out anyways, but it's better to keep it there as like a 
extra balance. But you you should not like force it down. You should just keep it quiet. There. And keep a space here as you're playing because then that means your hand is loose. Therefore, you have more control over your bow. Therefore, more control over how much notes and how many notes you play. Therefore, making it easier for you to play really speedy and fast songs. Now, you covered that. This is the G string. This is the A string. This is the uh, D, this is the D string, this is the A string, and this is the E string. They're called this way because when you open them and you play, this makes the G note, and this makes the D, this makes the A, and this makes the. Say it with me. E! Yeah! Very good. So. Oh, and if you're wondering why there's always like this thing in the E string. It's because the E-string is so thin that it needs like extra reassurance or else it, it'll break. So you don't want it too tight, you don't want it too loose. Keep it perfect. To start out today, we're gonna start with a book. And guys, if you like this video, then I'm gonna make more. If it's helpful, then I'm gonna make more. But if it's not, then I'm just I'm just gonna quit <laughs> because I'm I'm pretty lame at this teaching thing. So it's called Strict is Strictly Strings. It's the first book of a violin book. The, um, yeah, and you can get it at Cosmos for ten dollars. It's pretty easy. This is the one that I have. You can have other ones. Um, there's other types of uh, books here. You can, you know, it's your choice. Um, but I really recommend this one because it also shows you how to hold your violin. It shows all the different things on the violin. So you get to know and be best friends with this thing. And, you know, there's so much more to the bow. Like, there's like five things. Six, seven things about the bow and my teacher the first time I sat with her she was like okay these are the parts of the violin so it's not that important but it's nice to know so uh let's see what time we have let's get to the 10 mark we, I, I think we still have enough time to um study the strings now First, you have to cover the bow handling. And I suggest, this was suggested to me by my teacher, which I do really like this um, fact, is that you take it, and I think the easiest one is the A string. And it has to be a like, a pair, like perpendicular to your string. So, um, you look at the, a mirror like play this on a mirror look at the mirror play and then look at yourself and then look at the mirror again you know and I know that was pretty bad but that's only because I'm sitting here I'll do a demonstration uh, looking up. Here. Now. Start with the A string, which is the third string from left to right. So, you first look at your mirror and then you see and then you look You saw that it was a little off. Now you look at yourself. And now you look at the mirror to see if you did it correctly. And then you do this basically seven times. 
not each. So you do that. And in the book, if you want to exercise, there is some stuff about the D string. And you can do the D string or the A string if you want. Or even the E string. But the G string might be a little hard. Because it's so deep. And you have to make it really straight to have a good sound. It is also D is the same thing. E is like, you can have like a straight, but it... It, it still makes a pretty fine sound if it's okay so you can try the E string and you can like do rows and one cycle but a half cycle you can do one cycle and then like so up down you look at the mirror you look back up down and then you look at the mirror up down and you basically do that four times each so that would be helpful and um, I'll see you next class